welcome to an episode of my tutorials about Linux system programming. In today's video I want to show you how we can do inter-process communication with a pipe. But first, why do we need inter-process communication? Well, therefore let's open up the source file from our last episode. So in here we were talking about forks. So with fork you can spawn a new process within your currently running process. And so, for example, here we are calling fork and therefore creating a new process. With the return value of fork, we can decide if you are in the child process or if you are in the parent process. But what is if the child process wants to communicate with the parent process? How can this be done? Well, there are multiple ways to achieve this, but in today's video I want to show you a very simple one. And this way is by using a pipe. So how does a pipe look like? So basically like this. So a pipe can be used for unidirectional communication between two processes. A pipe has a write end and a read end. And one process should normally only use the write end and the other one only the read end. So for example here we have a process in the child process and here in the middle we have our pipe and the child process is accessing the write end and the parent process is reading out of the read end. And if we want to create a pipe we can use the function pipe and we will get two file descriptors back which are stored in an array. So the first element of the array is the file descriptor of the read end and the second one is the file descriptor of the write end. And as each process is only using one and, the other one can be closed with the close function. Okay, so much for the theory. Now let me show you how we can actually use a pipe in a small C sample application. So therefore I will edit this code here a little bit. So I don't need this variable here. I don't need the prints here basically. Okay, so let me delete these six lines and I also don't need most of the stuff here. But it's always good in the parent process to wait for the child process to terminate, so I will leave this um, wait pit in here. Okay, and now here I need a new variable I will call text and which is an array of 64 chars. And in the child process, I will print out a prompt, type something here, terminate with a new line character, and then I will use the read function. I will read from file descriptor 0, which normally is the um, file descriptor of the standard input. Then I want to read into the text variable, and I can read maximum 64 bytes or size of text. Okay. And what I've read here, I want to pipe now to the parent process here. So therefore before calling fork, I have to create the pipe. And therefore I will create an array of two integers which will contain the pipe descriptors. And before calling fork, I will call Maybe let's also use a status variable here. So I will call pipe and as an argument I have to pass a pointer to where the two file descriptors should be stored. So pipe fd here. In case we could create the pipe, this function should return zero and else an error occurred. And I will print out an error message here and I will exit my program with the error code I got from pipe. Okay, then here I'm creating my fork. And now down here, I will close the read end in the child process because I don't, I no longer need it. Maybe let's write it here, it's the child process. So I will close F, um, pipe fd zero. Then I will write to the right side, which is pipe descriptor one. 
I will write in text and I will write in size of text bytes in here. And then at the end I will also close the right side. And I will exit this here. And here on the read side what I what I have to do is, of course first I have to close the right end. And now I can use read and I will read from the read pipe descriptor. I will read into text and I will read maximum 64 bytes. Okay, and then I will just use printf to print it out. Got, and I will print out the string here. Um, text. And at the end, of course, I also have to close the right end and then I will wait for the child process to terminate. And here we are in the parent process. Okay, so let's try to compile this application. Let's see if it's working. So let's compile the fork. Okay, I don't know why I named it. Oh, yeah, fork2 and I will compile it into pipe. Okay, then let me start the program. So type something here. So let's type hello world here. And then, hello world will be written into the pipe. And in the parent process, I can read back hello world because read is a blocking function and waits for input. Okay, cool. So that's basically how a pipe worked. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.